hello and welcome to part two of this um what now i can see is a video this morning i was on my way to work um and it was just a thought but this is part two of the this kind go not out but by fasting and prayer i'm on my way home sitting in traffic <laughs> red lights and bumper to bumper so this is a good time to talk this out um i did speak to two people since this morning that watched the video and had some input and then something that i thought of as i was walking into work about fasting um fast worldliness pray the word of god fasting worldliness one of the ways of the world are wrong thoughts so um there was a very prominent pastor about seven years ago, seven, eight years ago, and it was during the Lent season and they were doing, you know, they normally do a 40 day fast for Lent. And he was saying a lot of people will do food fast and end up, or do you really end up stronger? Because he was saying, because your physical body does need fuel. Your physical body does need food, doesn't need junk. But one thing, your spiritual body does not need wrong thoughts. And so the challenge was to fast wrong thoughts. When you find yourself thinking wrong thoughts, one of my teachers in school, uh, Dr. A Daniel Amen, he has what they've coined ants, automatic negative thoughts. We need to fast wrong thoughts, automatic negative thoughts. Fast those wrong thoughts and pray the word of God. So and when you see those wrong thoughts coming, you snatch them down that's the scripture that says bringing every thought captive mm -hmm. you pull those thoughts down those strongholds which are thoughts down so you're fasting wrong thoughts and you're praying the word of god another thing that i wanted us to see what this was the one that i had walking in was that when you fast a uh, scriptural a scriptural biblical fast needs to you need to have a focus what are what is your focus what is your purpose for the fasting and or what scriptures are you standing on so obviously from what i'm dealing with myself personally standing on a people say a daniel fast i wanted us to see daniel it wasn't a fast it was a lifestyle it was a way of life for Daniel and the three boys. They were tested for 10 days, but it was a three year time period. And at the end of the three years, after them living this lifestyle of eating um, with such manner, they were found to be you know, full of wisdom and all of these other things. So I wanted us to see, know, and understand that fasting is a lifestyle. It's not something that you just do for three days or 21 days or seven days or 40 days or however long it is. Fasting is a lifestyle. And so wanted to bring that back. And then the other thing is about the word. Y'all see, I'm driving. You see me driving, you see the car moving. Okay, I'm at a red light and this is a long one. So I got a few more minutes. We'll finish this at this red light. The word says, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. So having the word in our heart to understand fasting, to understand the things that we're going through, whatever your, your breakthrough that you're believing God for, to have that word in your heart to where you can just recall, automatic recall. Thy word have I hid in my heart um, that I might not sin against you. Also the element or the concept of the book of Eli that you don't just memorize it, but you're meditating on it. This is the Joshua 1.8. You're meditating on it day and night. I have a, a YouTube video. I'll put it in the information of this video about growing growing in knowing God through Psalm 119. And it's actually a 40 day devotional where you eat some scripture in the morning, meditate throughout the day, and then revisit that same scripture in the evening and journal what you heard the Lord magnify to you. This is how that happens. This is how you get the word. I remember being a new believer back in uh, 2000, 19, well, a, a young believer back in the late 1900s, 1990s, and, or 2000, and asking God, looking at a person that was just, man, she just knew a lot of scripture. And I'm going, I don't know scripture like that. And Holy Spirit says, it comes from use. It comes from being intimate with the word. And so you're fasting. In your fast, it requires you to meditate. It requires you to bring back up the word that you've digested and extract more nutrients, spiritual nutrients out of it. You see why? It's If you focus on just the food, you miss out on the spiritual side of what God is doing. 
doing of what it means to fast and and pray the word you're praying the word you're meditating on it that word meditate means to murmur to rehearse over and over to say over and over to mutter underneath the breath and even that uh, word meditate when you look at it like a cow chews cud they regurgitate it back up out of one stomach into the other stomach to extract more nutrients and that's what we want to be doing with the word of god fast worldliness you're in the world you're not of it you're not to be friends with the world, but understand that you are an ambassador on assignment in the world. And so don't give in to worldliness, fast worldliness, pray the word of God. Understand the constitution of the kingdom that you're an ambassador for here in the earth realm. I pray you've been blessed. I'm almost to my appointment this afternoon. I'll get this video loaded. Um, make sure you leave a comment or send me an email at paulettex 7 at gmail.com and let me know if this video or these two videos have been helpful to you and also as i said i will include in the information of this uh, part two the link if you're interested in doing the 40-day devotional growing and knowing god through psalm 119 that's a way to learn the word and hide the word in your heart all right be blessed